so it's uh it's 2017 man we just like my second year in business right here on second street i get a phone call and his name is i this is al gomes from uh the oakland ray i'm from the yeah oakland raiders at the right, time yeah. and uh we want to hire you i hung up on him <laughs> I thought it was, I was, I was literally I was like it's bullshit man he's one of my friends fucking with me again damn it you know and I'm like you gotta stop doing this to me so phone rings again and I was like so first of all I thought it was my buddy JD I'm like JD you better not be fucking with me <laughs> you what, know what, what was the guy's name Al what it's Al, Al Davis Al Davis Al Davis yes. Al Davis yeah, yeah. No, so this was uh, Coach Gomes he was the, uh, the, um, in the strength and conditioning okay, coach okay. Yeah. so he called you like listen <clears throat> Don't hang up on me because I'm being serious. Oh, Otherwise, I'm going to hire some guy out of Jacksonville to come to Sarasota. And I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Yo, how can I help you? He's like, hey, so we understand you got the crowd therapy machine and my players want it. And I'm like, uh-huh, uh-huh. And he's like, and I need it. We're going to be at the Ritz-Carlton, um, and we need you for an entire week there. Can you move your machine over there? Because we don't want them coming to your office. And I was like, Sure. I had no clue how the hell I was going to pull this one off, right? So um, that was where I came to the concept of mobile cryotherapy. therapy. Um, so next, you know. <laughs> that was where they came up with the concept. They came up with the concept, and I was like, I'm going to roll with this, you <laughs> yeah. know? So um, I remember you know, I was talking to my paramedic at the time. It was just me and my paramedic working all the time. His name was Chris. He's with uh, Sarasota County. Great guy. And, um, you know, he's like, well, we're going to have to take this thing apart to get it out the door and – you know, and we got, we'll, we'll make it happen. So we went to U-Haul, rented a truck, no way. and uh, we took the machine apart. You know, we snuck was it, it your out. only machine? It was my only machine. So you also closed and shop. For yeah, I closed and shop for an entire week. You know, and uh, and I had a couple at that time. I had a couple uh, clients who were coming to us like every day, and I'm like, hey, I am so sorry, but I got this contract, and I and they're like. It's all good. Don't worry and I'll about tell it. you where the Raiders are going to be. Yeah. You can drop in. <laughs> right. You know, and they're like, they're like, no, 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 go for it. And, you know, and um, so we take the machine out there. And again, you know, I knew a few of the players, but I didn't know all the players, you know. So, every, you know, I remember the phones were pounding like that. We had to sign NDAs. Of course. When me, first thing that came out was we had to sign an NDA. We couldn't disclose that where we were going. We had to say who we were working with. And we couldn't talk about it until after they left. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, and I was like, okay, not a problem. No pictures, no autographs, no nothing. But they all had to sign a waiver. <laughs> so I got their autograph that way. <laughs> so I got a file folder of every single player said signature in there. They're so, for sale. <laughs> yeah, and um, I'll never forget the one time we had um, – there was uh, Marshawn Lynch was in there, you know, at the oh, time, yeah. Derek Carr, and then um, the center, uh, Lee, uh, Lee Smith is okay. his name, right? Great guy, you know. So, you know, they're always asking us, like, hey, where do we go? Where do you guys go to eat down at this place? And, you know, where do you go to drink? Where do you go to do this? We don't want to be at the Ritz all night. So I was, like, come telling them, hey, go down Main Street, go to Cafe Amici, go to Classico, just go, you know, all these different places that were, you know, been for for a while. Just go there and you'll have a good time. Um, but anyway, so we're taking care of the team. Let's go back to being at the Ritz. And um, literally, it was, like, amazing. Probably one of, like, the best things I ever thought of that would ever happen in my life, you know. So um, the players were great. You know, they were all having fun. And then they're like, hey, you know, Snapchat was big at that time. So they're all on Snapchat. So I'm like, I didn't have a social media profile. I didn't know what the hell Snapchat was. <laughs> my son did. My daughter did. But I didn't know what Snapchat was. And so my kids did in the background making my profile on Snapchat. That's so I'm weird. like, hey, do you guys mind tagging CryoXL? And they're like, yeah, yeah, we'll tag it. So that's how that's we started awesome. building our follow-up through that. And then, um, you know, we had two um, Super Bowl teams that came in, and they were training at an IMG. And um, they were staying at the, they either stay at the Ritz, the Westin, West or the Hyatt right here mm -hmm. uh, in the Quay. So, you know, are you are you guys still the only ones with cryotherapy machines in the area? No, there's actually uh, you don't another, have to name drop those. Ones no, 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 yeah, no, no. But. There's so you know I'm the only mom and pop left. Gotcha. You know, there's a couple franchises in town. I gotcha, I gotcha. Um, but yeah, you know, they don't they they can't move their machines. Let me help you with this. <clears throat> We're the only cryotherapy right. business in town worth a damn. That's right. That's, That's right. right. NFL yeah. certified, right? <laughs> NFL, Major League Baseball, and USI. We don't certified. fact check on this podcast. 